Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a Ubuntu video. I haven't done an Ubuntu video in probably about two years. I've had this channel for almost two and a half years now, and my first ever Ubuntu video would have been about two or three months into my channel, back when I had about 50 subscribers. So 99% of you guys have never seen a Ubuntu video on my channel. With that said, if you guys enjoy the video, Feel free to uh, leave your opinion below if I should continue doing some of these. Obviously, I'm not going to switch completely over to um, this type of video. But if you're interested in the odd video, the Ubuntu video, feel free to uh, leave your opinion below. I can easily create a playlist and start doing some of these videos. Anyway, today's video will be on a program called Unity Tweak Tool. This is a sweet application for Ubuntu showing you the capabilities of its tweaking options um, a lot of them are pretty sweet I'll go through most of them and yeah so anyway to in order to install the uh, program you'll have to add a software source which is below I'll have the two links the two um, codes below so you can paste them in so the first one's this one right here just paste it in I already pasted it in entered and added it and then all you have to do is paste in the second one which will allow you to get the application And then we'll simply um, go ahead and open the program once it's in. For anybody on my channel who is not really, you know, up to date with Ubuntu, it's a free operating system from a, a company called like Chronicle. I think I think that's how you say their name. Anyway, um, it's based off of Linux. And what I'm doing right now is installing a program through Terminal. Um, installing the program using the code, it installs it for you, sets it up, and it's that's how it is basically. Anyway, so now it's installed, we'll go ahead and open it up. So we'll go ahead and type in Unity. You need tweak tools there another. So go ahead and open it up. So the next thing with this tweak or this tweaking application is it has a nice, very um, nice start. So you have all your options and categories. Very nice. So if you want to adjust something in the Unity, you go to the Unity tab and you have different areas you can add. So I'll go through most of them and show you them. And then some of my favorites. So in the launcher, you have some app. And some of these settings, by the way, guys, are available in the settings of the standard Ubuntu, but they're hard to get to. This is going to have some extra ones and then all of them in general. So we have the auto hide option that basically hides our, um, our Unity by itself. And with the auto high animation, we have fading options. We have um, slide only, fade and slide, or fade dash and slide. So you can see some of these ones here. Transparency, so you can change the transparency of it. So you can see if you look on the right, left hand side there. And you can do the color based on wallpaper, or you can go with custom color. So you can make it nice and black if you prefer that. So there you go. You can change it black and make it transparent. So if you do that, you can see that it's basically now completely see-through. But we have this nice um, icon at the top here, and it goes black and you click on it. So there you go. That's some pretty cool uh, options. A nice thing too, we can change the icon size. This allows for more icons on a launcher without having to fold them. So also you can increase them if you're blind or whatever. So you, like I said, you have different options. So this is nice though. Can I find the by default the icons are a bit big, so you can decrease them a bit, make them how you like them. We also have the options for the animations. So an urgent animation does a wiggle, pulse, or no animation. And then for launch animation, we can do blink or pulse. So right now it pulses, so you can see it kind of lights up with that. If we change it to blink. It ch changes the blink, so you know that's how it works for that um, icon backgrounds. On so you can change the icon backgrounds, no coloring, colored edges, alternated, all of them, open applications only. So whatever one you like, you do that. Nice thing as well, when if you don't like what you did, click restore, boom, back to default again. So. 
um, for, for the searching, which is going to be this right here. You can have a background blur, search online resources, so you can check that off. If that doesn't, if that's off, things like Amazon, um, online music, that kind of stuff will be there. Um, applications and files, you can choose that. And you can clear the history of your run command. So this is just a panel. So we have menu visible for transparency. And you can you can see at the top there it's changing colors. Opaque for maximize windows. So because um, I changed the opaque the other one to black, this one's going to black as well. So we can do 12 hour time um, or 24 hour time depending on their power. You can change get rid of the volume box, default player, which is kind of nice. Show my name, um, Bluetooth. So these are just things that you can, you know, have. Um, I can't display the main battery life because this is a desktop computer, so it won't show. So we have switcher, and we have web apps, and then additional is just some extra settings. So we'll go back to the uh, overview again. So I'll show you my favorite one um, of all of them, which would be the window manager, which is actually the hot corners. So what you can do is you can turn the hot corners on by default, and then go to choose a corner, and then you have the option to um, add a hotspot to it. So what you can do is you can choose an option, and that will allow you to spread out windows. So if you go to the right-hand corner, the window is spread apart, and then you can choose them. So we have um, four different options. So this and gives you um, six, eight different hotspots you can choose from. And then of course you can hit restore defaults, disable them all, and you can go off, and then they're off. Window snapping, um, same idea. You can choose if it snaps to the corner or not. Um, obviously, this is a small window; it doesn't actually go bigger. So, but for like something like this, you can do that. So you can make how much it sticks. Outline color, so you can choose the color it highlights. Um, the, so the fill color, you know that kind of stuff there. All right. Um, so you can also choose where it expands to. So you, right by default, the bottom does not do anything. You can change that to do the fill screen. Or whatever you like. Or if you just don't want them at all, you can disable them all, and then you just can't do that. Windows spreads, not much of a big deal. It's just spacing, that kind of stuff. Workspace settings, work like a switcher, you can turn that on or off. And what that does, it brings you your icon here. So people who are working on Ubuntu 13.04 will notice that this is not there anymore. By clicking on over here, you can now bring it back to life. general you have desktop magnification zoom in um, texture quality so now you can choose the hardware acceleration and animations you can do the window animations so sidekick you know there you go magic lamp wavy so these are pretty cool I'll go through all of them but you know you can choose the one that you like And then unminimize, you can choose a different one. So, may zoom be pretty cool. Yeah. All right. And then appearance, you can set a custom theme. You can um, apply that. Icons, you can mess with them. Fonts, they're pretty simple. Stuff, pretty um, straightforward kind of stuff. Step up, desktop icons, you can choose the ones you want to display. Simply by pressing on them. Security wise, you can disable things like desktop lock, printing, user logout, user switching, and scrolling. We have some different options like touch scrolling, two finger scrolling, if you have that option on your mouse. Anyways, guys, that is about it for this video though. Again, this is Uni Tweak Tool, um, pretty simple to install using Terminal. I'll have the um, system or the application source code below. Paste that in and install that. And they'll have the actual program um, code as well below. So paste that in and install it that way as well. Anyways, guys, check out the program though. It's pretty sweet. Um, if any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Also, a question for the day type of thing um, question here. Do you like this type of video um, on Ubuntu? If you do, leave a like and leave a comment saying that you do and that you want more videos. And if you have any questions on Ubuntu or you want to do a setup video, 
showing you how to set it up on your computer so you can follow these tutorials. Leave that below as well. Um, basically, leave anything you want below. And uh, of course, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker Triple 07, and I am signing off.